Hey guys, Mike here with DLX and today we're going to be taking a look at cleaning and maintenance of the all new eye system in the Lux Ice. The first step in troubleshooting your eye system is to determine if there's actually a problem. Without any air attached to the marker, remove your bulk kit and with the marker powered on you'll notice there's a hollow circle on your OLED screen. Insert your finger into the breech. That circle will now be solid. When you pull the trigger, you'll hear the solenoid cycle and you will actually see it say fault, which is perfectly normal. It needs to sense the movement of the ball and the bolt in order to properly function. So when you remove your finger from the feed neck, you'll now see it goes back to a hollow circle and then you pull the trigger, you'll hear that noise, your eyes are functioning properly. If you do not hear that noise and you hear the solenoid cycle instead, it means you have a blockage on your eye system somewhere. So you'll need to remove the eye cover and inspect the sensors on each side, as well as the pockets that the ribbon is aligned with to make sure that it's not clogged with any paint, paint shell, dirt, debris, or anything of the sort. So you'll just wanna take your pick, remove the ribbon, make sure this hole is clear, make sure this sensor is free of any dirt or paint or grease. Take a Q-tip with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, wipe off each sensor, Place it back in the pocket, hole over the post, insert the front tab of the eye cover back in the marker, and it will just snap right back in place. So if you've cleaned your eyes and you're still getting an eye fault, the next step is to inspect each part of the eye ribbon. First thing to do, take your grips off. And when you do so, check to make sure, first and foremost, that the lower ribbon is plugged into the board fully, nice and snug. If so, you want to take the frame off of the body. And before Removing the frame from the body, make sure you unplug your solenoid and pull the body straight up from the frame, ensuring you don't pinch your solenoid wires when you're taking it off. Check to make sure that this screw is nice and snug. The lower connector is sitting flush in the frame and it's running properly through the channel. It's not pinched, cut, or damaged. Same with the upper portion. Make sure that the screw is nice and tight and firm on the body and the ribbon itself is in place in its proper channel. Once you have the marker fully reassembled, go ahead and repeat your first test. If you're still getting an eye fault, you will likely need to replace one section of the ribbon. Most likely it will be the upper section with the eye sensors as the lower section could only really fail if there's physical damage done to the ribbon. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye on your YouTube channel for more videos to come in the future. And if you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call.